Hoity Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans Inc. And today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Flu Lock Chapter 261. But before I get into this recap and live reaction, we are at war with YouTube's algorithm and it is slowly but surely killing my channel. And in order to defeat this algorithmic beast, we need you to please hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because, of course, this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. If you love what we're doing and want to help keep me, my adorable little soccer kitty over there, and this operation literally alive and kicking, so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one, feel free to hit up our cash up and PayPal links are in the description box below. So, well, last chapter of Blue Lock, um, we got the start of Kaiser's backstory, and man poor poor kaiser he was abused to all hell and back but um after you know he got his soccer ball and uh well his father was uh threatening to destroy it he had his awakening that he did but anyways let's get to this chapter see what's in store for us this week i hear you took down seven police officers with a soccer ball I just ended the fight they picked. Yeah! And this chapter is titled Malice. I love this rose here. You know what it's giving? And I think I, if I didn't say it last week, I'm going to say it this week. It's giving very Beauty and the Beast tease. Because, let's be real, Kaiser is that beast. And, well, it's Regina George realness, uh, to be all honest. And when them rose, all them rose petals fall... His sanity will be gone forever. Yes. That's good, kid. I'm traveling the world to scout unpolished lumps of soccer talent like you. From now on, this is where you belong, a.k.a. at the Bastard Moonshin um, Training Clubhouse. First, pass the pro exam. I'll do whatever it takes to escape from that house. Nice to meet you. Uh, you're Ki Wait, you're Kaiser? We've heard, uh, we've heard about you. These are people. Unlike me, people wanted them to be born. Oh, Kaiser! Let's eat together. Uh, here's yours. Um, that tattoo is sick. Yeah, it's dope. I, I don't know how to receive goodwill. Um, what the hell are you doing? It's way easier for me to live as the target of malice. But I hear that soccer is a sport played by 11 people. I mean... They have to understand, you have, uh, I wonder if, um, I wonder if they were given the brief on, like, what Kaiser's upbringing was. Because if they know what Kaiser dealt with growing up, I think they'd understand. And guys who are hated don't get passes, nope. If I'm going to succeed in this environment, I need the ability to fight on my own. Um, I need an overwhelming weapon, something that will clearly prove my existence to everyone. I need to make an impact, the Kaiser Impact! And rather than a conspiracy of goodwill, I need a dog who will submit to my malice, aka the nest. Bastard Mooch in tryouts, this guy's a good test subject, the, the nest. Dribbling, passing imagination, all his abilities are above criticism, and above all, he's isolated. If I'm going to erode his heart, hey, shitty small fry, do you believe in the impossible? Now's the time. And so Michael Kaiser gradually started to understand his disposition. This feels good. Using victory to hurt people and warp them. I'll use malice to prove my existence. This is art! Yes! I love this art. Yeah. The being known as Michael Kaiser took great pleasure eroding others' hearts and living on inside them as a scar. What is with the horror art this week? Jesus, man! Destroying people's dreams, rewriting their sense of values, becoming a symbol of impossibility that taught them true despair. He believed that was the ultimate destination of the impulse that gave its first cry in that moment. Doing so, he felt that bit by bit, um, every time he harvested a new despair, he became a little more human. It's very interesting, isn't it? 
that through everyone else's pain, he became more human because let's be real, up until this point, up until going to Bastard Moochin, his humanity was stripped from him because of all the abuse he had been put through. But through everyone's despair, he regained his humanity. It's very interesting, the cycle of abuse, isn't it? But God, this art is fabulous. And at the same time, he would picture his father who he'd hated so much. Oh, so he hurt me so much um, just so we can maintain. Yeah, see what I mean? The feeling that he was alive. That's why instead of saying thank you, he hit me every day. And instead of saying I love you, he called me a piece of shit. This is the cycle of abuse, man. It's an ugly thing. I'm doing the same thing as that shitty father. Except I'm trying to do it to the world's um, uh, soccer players. I love this. I love the vine wrapping around Kaiser like this and the rose taking over. But I'm telling you when that, fi that final petal is, um, has dropped. When it's gone. Kind of like with Beauty, it's like with Beauty and the Beast, when that final, well, but, but with Beast though, with Beast he died. But with Kaiser, that's actually a good question though. Or that's a good thought. If we're gonna do the Beauty and the Beast metaphor, or comparison here. Will this be one of those things where if, um, all the petals fall off the rose, will he die or will he just straight up lose his, hum will his humanity just be gone forever? I feel like it's one of those things where I, I kind of feel like it could be, it could be both. It could. What a shitty human. And so the boy dreamed that one day he'd be the world's best. Ooh, go Kaiser, the next one. I won't miss again. I'm still 35 meters from the goal or 38 yards. Just barely um, too far to shoot. If I wait three, no, five more meters, then at that point I'll stop the bet. Still so tepid. Don't stop, dumbass. Ren is coming too late. You shitheads. Everything I gain by winning. Nice one, Ren son. Classic and bomb is being stolen and destroyed. At this rate, hey Kaiser, you get it right. This team isn't yours anymore. Ooh, kneel to me, you shitty clown. That's it, Kaiser. Fight with that. See? No, it did that shit on purpose. He's trying to push Kaiser to his limit. Fight with that ego. Evolution only happens in adversity. See, I know what you're doing, Noah. Because Kaiser, kind of like with Charles, right? And to an extent with, uh, with Shidao. I'm going to say it with Shidao as well. They have been very complacent. And now, because they are being pushed into a corner like this, they are going to evolve. I really hope Shidao is going to get back in there. I do. I hope she out time ain't over. Because it's time, because let's be real, Kaiser is evolving. He is going to have his, his ultra ego moment. He will. He'll have his ultra ego moment. Will he score a goal? I don't know. But I feel like we're going to see it. We're going to see it here. But man, I'm really curious how the rose metaphor is going to go here. Is it, we're, are we going to see him be consumed by, like, by the rose? Or are we going to see him go, are we going to see him, like, um, because we're talking about ego here. See him, like, free himself from from the rose or from the rose bush i can or from you know from the rose vines i could see that happen too if that does happen 
I think that would be a very powerful thing. I do. Because let's be real, what's holding him back is his emo is really his emotions. Because he's been holding his emotions in for a long time. I have a feeling that's going to be the case here. I'm really curious what you guys think. I, I gotta compare it. I, I'm going to compare it to Ren and compare it to Vegeta too. Cause when Ren went ultra ego, it was right around the same time we saw Vegeta go ultra ego in Dragon Ball Super. Remember what beer said to Vegeta that he said that Vegeta was carrying a part of what, um, why Vegeta wasn't able to get stronger. Part of the reason why was due to holding the weight of the Saiyans, the, the, you know, all the sins of the Saiyans, all that weight on his shoulders. And that if he didn't let go of it, let go of all that shit, he wouldn't get stronger. And not just the weight of the Saiyans, but also his own sins too. And if he didn't move past it, he wouldn't get, that's what was holding him back from getting stronger. I feel like it's the same thing happening here with Kaiser. I do. I feel like, did, would you say the same thing happened with Ren too? Yeah, I would say something similar was happening with Ren as well. But man, it's really definitely happening with Kaiser. You really could definitely say it's happening with Kaiser. Because... Look at, just look at all the thorns that were in all the vines that were like trapping Kaiser or hold or wrapping themselves around Kaiser. We're going to see something where he breaks out of them vines and that will be his ultra ego moment. That's what it really seems like to me. Now, whether he scores a goal, it'll be different. It'll be very interesting. But I see why, no, I, I knew Noah was doing it for a reason. Noah is pushing Kaiser like, um, like Loki is uh, um, trying to push Charles. I know it. But man, I still can't help but think of what Ego said to Kunigami about how Kunigami, what his purpose was, was to push everyone's ego and you know, um, to go further, you know, push their egos further. And that he was going to help everyone on the field. I swear. I swear that does include Shidao. I swear if we do not get an evolution of Shidao up in this game, I'm going to be furious. I want to see a Shidao evolution because I feel like Here's the thing, which, and this is why I want to see a Shido evolution, okay? Because if you get a Shido evolution, that's going to inspire Charles to get to really go for it on the field. Because that's his bro. That's his demonic bro. And if he sees that shit go on, he'll be like, yeah. And, and same with Ren. If Ren goes the fuck off and Ren has his evolution, oh, that will get Charles going too. But now in regards to... um. Now let's get back to Kaiser's situation. I think in regards to Kaiser's ultra ego, I think it's going to be a combination. Do I think it's going to be a straight up Rin situation or, or do I think it's going to be like a borrow situation or a Bakura situation or do, or could it be a combination of the three I, or any combination? I feel like if anything, it's going to be a combination of, of borrow and uh, um, and Ren, it's going to be a combination of those two. You can make the argument that there's a little bit of Bakura up in the mix too, but to me, it really feels like it will be a combination of Ren and Borrow's egos. It really does. The only reason you can make the argument that there might be a little bit of Bakura in there is because of the creativity, maybe. But man, you got the um, the wildness of Borrow up in there, and in the terms of of Rin, it's the just remember what happened with Rin when he went ultra ego. He like he tore down that wall and just went for it. 
Varro just had, they were, Varro had more control. That's why I'm like, Rin had, Rin almost, like, literally had, um, Rin didn't have as much control with his ultra ego in comparison to, like, Varro. That's why I'm like, I could see this being, like, a mixture of Varro and Rin in terms of ultra ego. I'm very curious what you guys, um, think of this chapter. What do you guys think about the direction, especially in terms of Kaiser's ultra ego? And do you, what do you guys think about what Noah is doing? I, I understand. I see what Noah, I see what Noah is doing. I think it's actually pretty smart. I do. Um, what was the other thing I was going to say? Shit. Oh, and what do you guys think about, um, and especially in terms of how Kaiser is going to break free, do you guys think we're going to, do you guys think this is like a Beauty and the Beast kind of situation with the Rose, like I do? Um, and if that final petal falls, but man, I really, I really do feel like this is a, a Vegeta situation. It really feels like a Vegeta situation more than, more so than when Ren went to Ultra Ego. It really does. It Especially with all the shit that we just saw with Kaiser, all the sins and the burdens and the fuckery that he went through. It, this really does feel like a Vegeta situation, doesn't it? Like, especially with what Beerus was, after what Beerus said to Vegeta. Yeah, this real like, if anyone's gonna go, like, a true ultra ego, especially based on what Beerus said, it's definitely gonna be Kaiser. It definitely, definitely. Oh, for sure. I'm very curious what you guys think. Especially, uh, do you guys think that if anyone's gonna go like true ultra ego, and we're talking, as I said, we're talking about what Beerus when Beerus had that talk with Vegeta, and what he was saying about what was holding him back. Do you guys think that out of everyone we've seen, Rin, Kaiser, Baro, Bakira? Do you think that Kaiser is going to be the one to have that true ultra ego awakening? I really do. I think I I think Kaiser's going to be the one to really have it and it's going to be extremely powerful and the art for this is going to be extremely powerful. And this is coming from a Shido fan. I love Shido. Shido's my man. The the other one that I feel like We'll have a very powerful awakening as well. When we get to their ultra ego awakening is um is Nagi. Cause remember, Nagi is really lost right now, but when he finds himself, when we got we get that Mufasa moment, or not that no, not the Mufasa moment, excuse me. When we get that Simba moment, woo! Cause Bao had that Mufasa moment. He had the Mufasa realness going on. Now you're going to have the Simba moment, and it'll be glorious. But anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. Love what we're doing. I want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more um, uh, Blue Lock content. A few ways you could do that. Donate to our cash at PayPal, Patreon. Purchase something off our Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord. Friend us on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Until next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.